With AI Rising, everything becomes so simple and easy to achieve. Especially destruction. You see with this amazing runway, cling.ai and pika. You see, I did that with pika.ai and that's honestly cool. But we as a 3D and VFX artist, we need precision and lot of flexibility. So that's why we need to use Houdini, side effects Houdini. But there is a catch. Let me show you what it will take to create a decent destruction in Houdini. At first you will see yourself with this note, a craziness and network setup. And if you want decent destruction, you need to deal with a multiple solver in Houdini, including Pyro Solver, RBDBullet Solver, and if you want debris, pop network, wow. And there is a lot of uh, technical concept with this crazy parameter, you see? That's a lot for the beginner. So we need a solution between these two. AI generating and this craziness of Houdini. And I might have one. Yeah, I got the juice like a snow cone. Ice in my veins and a cold flow. I'm getting cash overseas by the boatload. Yeah. You want to ride my wave? That's a no-go. Shake it, shake it. Senoritas going loco. Shake it, shake it. Make it bounce like a pogo. All my haters see rojo. Yeah. They're big mad because they're coming up short like Frodo. Hi everyone, this is Daizen. Welcome back. In this channel, we are doing amazing 3D VFX stuff in simple yet clever way without any complexity and without any headache, especially in these days. So without further ado, let's begin. In order to have amazing destruction, we need something between simplicity and flexibility. So we've been developing this amazing digital asset called Destruction X. A lot of you guys knows that so it's open source it's not from another planet it's using houdini notes so this is a new version and this is a massive future to see in order to create a cool tools for destruction we need to see a lot of real reference you see and we pay attention to all of that so we figured it out in all of this destruction we have the main subject for example in this one car is the main subject it will destroy and in this one the building is the main subject so let's see how we can set up the main subject in houdini with this digital asset so this is the destruction x the first input will take a normal geometry for main subject and even it can take a multiple or mix geometry using this rbd pack you see and of course it will create a lot of this fracture for you and we notice another thing in all of this destruction we have the trigger for example in this one the car the main subject it's the trigger the self trigger so in this one we have this impact and the trigger and it's set to self and you can have this destruction another one the trigger is dynamic object for example this rock you see the main subject it's the truck and the trigger is dynamic object for example in this one the car it's the main subject and this bomb or rocket it's the trigger so how we can set up that in destruction x as you can see we have this one and we have this rbd configure node set to active one and the second input will go to the trigger you see the trigger now set to dynamic object and this is the result and you can create something like that you see that's amazing and we notice another trigger called internal force for example in this building you see it's internal force doing this destruction you see and we can achieve that in destruction x so easily for example i mask this cube I want to simplify the idea for you guys and we have this pyro burst source its point and velocity and it will go to the second input and as you can see now it's detected as an internal force and if I simulate that boom just with few click that's awesome and we call that a constraint manipulator you see in visualization you can enable the constraint 
and this setup will delete or remove the constraint over time based on your trigger you see and you can do something like that you see that's amazing it's doing or removing the constraint using this fluid you can convert that to vdb and transfer the velocity that's simple and this digital asset is so smart it can detect the main impact you see in the previous one it was manually and it was a single main impact but now as you can see it's detecting automatically so so far so good huh if you like this kind of video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content i will appreciate it guys stay with us we're gonna show you amazing shockwave and smart camera shake by the impact that will be awesome so what will happen after the impact that's a good point we notice after the impact it will generate a lot of effect destruction will generate for example a explosion so in here we need to cache the first impact as you can see we have this shabby fabulous uh, progress bar internal cache and as you can see we have this pre-baked simulation and we can layer a destruction x for example let me call it effect because i want to do an effect for that and as you can see it's detect as a simulation for input object and as you can see in effect we have this apply origin impact it's have energy uh, it's duration and it's have a speed and we can enable explosion and we can enable the effect in visualization and as you can see we have explosion source automatically you see it's detect the impact the main impact and you can manipulate that and you can fit that to pyro source and boom you see that's simple another effect will happen after the impact called trails for example you see that these trails smoke trails so we can do that in destruction x easily for example let's go in here we have this simulation you see we have this debris and we can enable this effect to the fragment impact because this is the fragment not the origin impact not the initial impact so we can enable the selection in visualization and we can filter these uh, pieces you see this is amazing and we can enable trail and you see that's fabulous and of course we can apply explosion in fragment impact because this is the fragment and if they impact or they collide to something it will generate explosion wow that's awesome so this is my favorite one this one took a lot honestly so this is called shockwave after the destruction the shockwave will happen you see in this destruction we have this shockwave you see that so in destruction x you can apply this shockwave in easy way you see the, the third one it's now for the collision and we have this simulation and now in origin impact i wanna enable shockwave you see let's enable that and let's play and this is awesome this is not regular shockwave it's it can manipulate the shape and it can include the collision and you see that's awesome and even you can include the pieces the main subject you see that's awesome and you can output this mock diamond you can access that with this group and you see this is the mock diamond this is so crucial and that's amazing for example in this one you see this doom of shockwave we call it mock diamond and we have amazing force what is that this is a generating velocity so this is a set to normal vector you see it will generate along the normal vector this is amazing like this reference you see pay attention we have the shockwave but the smoke it will rise along the vector normal normal vector sorry so another one it's along a grow movement you see that's amazing it can take something like that you see this is the reference you see that's so cool honestly i'm not finished so we have shockwave as an explosion source what i mean by that is let's take this destruction you see on the windshield we have explosion source 
caused by shockwave you see and we can enable this one in here and you see boom we have another amazing thing called camera shake smart camera shake you see in this destruction we have this camera shake caused by the distance the shockwave distance we can enable or create this camera in here as you can see and we can go back and enable this camera and we we can we can determine the distance this is the delay offset and you see that's amazing with just few click you have the decent shock wave and the simulation so we have an output tab this will output the source of the effect as a point and vdb this is good advantage you can use that with pyro solver chaos destruction in unreal engine and embergen axiom solver blah 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 this is flexible setup and as you can see this pyro setup it's so easy just connect this collision and the source and you good to go and this asset honestly tend to be a good companion for you in creativity journey and speed up your journey for example it will save you a lot of time for example you see if you have complex geometry you need to set up a different group with different rbd material fracture and you will end up with complex uh, network node so in this one we added a fracture layer fracture like this tab and we can mix a different layer of fracture without set up any node it will rbd pack that automatically that's so time saver and of course if you have this kind of geometry deforming geometry remember from this previous tutorial you it can do the deformation stuff for you and it can build a constraint using this uh, attribute you see it's connecting the pieces and it will save you a lot of time we have amazing future we call it switch from the original you see i did a some simulation a back ago by the way this is the tutorial you see in this simulation especially if you shading that shading the rbd fracture material fracture as a glasses it will go like that you see this is b before the impact so we need to switch the switch the original and the simulation geometry after a certain point you see we have this amazing output switching you see this is the previous uh, geometry and this is the simulation geometry and we have this grow mode stuff you see it will grow from the impact it will switch from the original to the simulation geometry <laughs> honestly i love it honestly this is so amazing and we have this amazing time wrap we talk about that a lot in the previous destruction x and as you can see it's just with one slider and you can have this time wrap near the impact you see in this reference we have this speed up time scaling near the destruction Woo! <laughs> it's so hot in here honestly so this is destruction x 0.4 and we're gonna make it better better in every version because it's my main tool and i love it so you can give us a feedback using this guide pine and this documentation and the roadmap so do not hesitate to contact us and in the next release we will integrate that with npm solver so that will be interesting honestly so if you're interested the link in the description this is the lifetime investment guys without any licensing blah 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 and this is now on the main website our brand new website and you can purchase that in simple way boy this one thank you guys thank you for supporting me honestly from bottom of my heart thank you and i appreciate every moment of your support so see you in the next one goodbye